the proposals from the citizens' advisory team still have to be approved by the board and eventually the voters. But under the plan, students here in the West Claremont District could have several new buildings. The superintendent says the work is necessary, but convincing the voters could be challenging. People are struggling. People can't meet the needs of this district. That's West Claremont School Board member Tina Sanborn has concerns about a proposed master facilities plan. About 30 community members came up with ways to address building and crowding concerns. Some schools are brand new. Others are 60 years old. So right now, the reality is, depending on which neighborhood you live in, West Claremont determines the learning environment you have. The proposal includes building two new elementary schools to replace Holly Hill and Merwin Elementary. Superintendent so Natasha Adams says really both are overcrowded. Today we're standing in the cafeteria, but this room is supposed to be the art room. Here at Merwin Elementary, the classrooms have window units, but the hallways in the gym aren't air conditioned. It is just before 1130 and even the shaded part of this hallway is more than 85 degrees. Kids have to go to three different areas to have lunch. We Mom Amber Plyman and her son Jacob say the middle grade. school is also crowded. So the whole grade eats lunch at the same time, but it's spread out throughout the building into three different areas and some of them are larger, the lines are longer, kids say they don't have enough time to eat their food. Last year, I did not have enough time. Amber was part of the citizen advisory team, which also recommends building a new middle school and intermediate school for fifth and sixth grade students. While on the same campus, they would operate as two separate schools. Our um, team sent out uh, several surveys. We've talked to staff, students, parents. But board member Sanborn asks the board to consider other options as voters worry about the economy. They want to pay. The school, they want to pay for the schools, they want to help the schools, but they don't, they can't do it right now. What is your message to those who are worried about, you know, their taxes going up or having to vote on this bond issue? Yeah, it is, it is really tough times and so that's really, it's not lost on us. So we are going to have to address the overcrowdedness, the aging facilities, the inequities that exist across our schools. And so it just, it's really a community decision to decide which way do we want to invest that tax money. The board will decide whether or not to approve this proposal in September. If approved, they can start looking into the cost. By the end of this year, the board will have to vote again if they want to put this on the ballot in the spring. In Batavia Township, Chelsea Sick, Local 12 News. From breaking news to feel-good stories, Local 12 has it all. Tap subscribe and hit the links to find out more.